Noticing with the ebb and the flow of the breath, how as you inhale, there seems to be an increased internal stretch within your body as you exhale, just that lovely little release point. Lovely. So from here, we'll just gather the two knees together, walk the feet out towards the edge of the mat, maybe not the full edge of the mat, okay? Sweeping the arms away from the body and just rock the knees from side to side. So just fluidly smooth them out side to side. Lovely. And then we're coming over to the right. Just stay here a minute and press over just another little bit more. So pushing the inside of the left knee and thigh down into the mat. And then as we sweep it back to centre as we take it out to the left, out of the right, and the side thigh presses down just that little bit extra. Lovely. And then we'll bring everything back to our centre point. And then gently heel toe the feet together, lift the feet off the mat, hug the hands around the knees and draw the thighs nicely into the tummy, as well as lengthening the spine so we feel that nice tight sort of zigzag shape. I'll leave breath. So give the length to the spine. Sort of draw in the thighs. Strong hands. Lovely. And then just curl up head and neck, bring the forehead towards the knees. Engage your core pelvic floor and just reach the arms out in front of you. Curling the upper back off the mat. And don't forget to continue as you breathe. And then as we release it down, just pop the two feet onto the floor. From here, we're going to cross right leg fully over the left. Okay, lift the left foot off the mat. And then from here, taking the hands to each of your knees. So your left hand will go to your right knee, your right hand will go to your left knee. Keep the feet nice and soft and just gently draw the thighs centrally into the abdomen. And as you exhale, lengthen down the spine and feel the extra stretch in your right butt cheek. Good. Just gently teasing out into that right hip. 
And then we'll come into a lying down Garudasana, a cow's leg there. So we're going to slide the hands down, I should say Garudasana, I should say cow's face. So slide the hands down to the side ankle bones, maybe to the side edges of the feet. Slay out the feet a little bit wider, but particularly the left foot and leg needs to really come back. And then as you pull down, you still draw the butt cheeks down into the mat to press the thighs nicely into the chest. Smooth into your sacrum. Another wee breath here. So really spread out those legs as best you can. You do have to use the arms quite strongly here to get the pull back and the pull down. Brilliant. So then we'll just arm across the legs, pop the feet back down, this time swinging the left leg. All the way over, lifting the feet off the mat. So again, hands at each knee. Gently drawing centrally into the tummy. Softening the feet and drawing the length to the spine. And sending the breath. So imagine your butt cheeks are like tires or balloons, something that you can blow up or a beach ball and inhale. Blow them right up. And exhale, soften into the sacrum, soften into the butt. And then when we come into our spy leg, we slide in the hands down. You might, when you reach the side ankles, you might reach side ankle bones, side edge of the feet, splay out particularly your right leg now, and then draw it back and down. And again, imagine you're trying to blow air into the spaces you're trying to stretch. Or should I say, suck air into the places you're trying to suck by a stretch as you inhale. Lovely. And then we'll release the legs down to the mat, place them two feet on the floor, knees the main bent here. To sweep the arms away from the body, soften fully into the back body, extend your right leg out in front of you. Reach out to the heel, let the heel then just gently rest on the floor. So getting extension into that lovely right leg. And then from here, we're going to lift the right leg up, sweep it all the way round in big circles. So remember that lovely ball and socket joint, we want to give it a good sweep and swing round. Good. So when you take your leg up and over towards the head, turn the foot out. Good. Roll it through. Lovely. And then we're going to take it the other way. So coming around and across, up, and then down the middle. Lovely. And then on our last, we swing around. Swing it up and over. Your left leg, so your right ankle bone sits there nicely just on the slope of your left thigh, lifting the left foot off the mat. And we'll gently clasp our fingers behind the back of the flat left leg and use the right forearm to gently press the right leg forward as we draw the left leg in. And again, find that lovely inhale into those hips, particularly the right one again here. And as we exhale, softening into the lower back, into the sacrum, and smoothing the butt cheeks down into the mat. Good. One more breath. There you go. Really good hug in as close as you can get. Brilliant. And then when we pop that foot to the floor, just simply uncross your right leg. Extending out now your left leg. Find a lovely length out. So really draw the heel away. Toes towards the nose. Then allow that heel to rest out onto the floor. Love extension and a kind of opening in our hip joint. And then from here, we're going to swing the leg up the centre. Out to the side. All the way round and back to where we started. So again, fullest range of movement. Try not to push your right foot into the mat, okay? This is nice and relaxed, okay? So there's no pushing the other foot to lift the leg up. So just sweeping it around, you might find funny little clumps, funny little clicks. Good. And then we're going to take it the other way. So out, all the way around, up, and down, middle. Out. Turn those toes out as you sweep it out. Down the middle. Toes out. All the way up. Last time. And then we're going to cross it over our right thigh. Lift our right foot off the mat. Okay. Really square off that 
Interlacing the fingers then behind that right thigh, we're drawing the thigh in. And using the left forearm, or perhaps the left hand if that's better for you to press that left knee away. Breathe and lift and blow up, <laughs> not blow up, but stretch out that left butt cheek. Lovely, and one more breath. With a good draw in, but try not to curl that bum too much off the floor. Good. And then from here, just pop that foot to the floor, unhook that leg. Okay, smooth the lower back into the mat. So lift the bum slightly, curl the tail, smooth the lower back. And then gently start sliding the feet away until the toes want to lift off the mat. So we don't have fully extended legs. We still are really keeping that lower back nicely rooted into the mat. We'll float our arms up and over our head. And as we exhale, waking up our falls, just gently up to our seated position. Relaxing into the shoulders, keeping a nice tall spine. Exhaling halfway down. Relax the shoulders here. On your next exhale, three quarters of the way down the head, neck, chest, and line the spine, draw belly button in, relax the shoulders. Inhale to take it all the way back down, and as you exhale again, gently roll and curl it all the way back up. Taking it to our halfway point, nice relaxed shoulders, tall spine, space between our chin and chest. Exhaling three quarters of the way down, sucking that belly button, lift into that pelvic floor, relax the shoulders, inhale all the way down, last time rolling up the spine, exhaling halfway down again, nice relaxed shoulders, next exhale three quarters of the way down, nice relaxed shoulders, Exhaling nine tenths of the way down. And then as you roll it down, gently lift the knees into the chest. So again, give yourselves a nice little tuck. Lovely. And then we'll tip the fingers in behind the thighs. Give ourselves a little flip of the feet over the head. So kind of hike the bum up, flip the feet over, roll, tip the toes, and back again. So we're just rolling up and down, making the two legs work together. So glue those on the insteps. Lovely. And then we'll just gather the momentum, push ourselves forward, place the hands onto the mat, and pull ourselves up to start. Lovely. And then just release the arms down by your side. So standing out the front of your mat, place the feet together. Get the shoulders nice and roll out. Oh, full range of movement. And then reverse that. And then just come to stand in your tadasana. So, feeling the ground of your feet to the floor. Lifting and lengthening gently through the legs. So, try not to squeeze the kneecaps in. Just lift right up. Let the arms relax down by your side, okay? And then just nice parallel to the floor, so we've not dropped or lifted, but nice and straight. Lovely, hands gently resting gently down by your side. Good, so we'll float the arms up to the sky. And as we exhale, soft bend to the knees, fold it out, first forward fold. You can lay the hands to relax fully out, or you can rest the fingertips or palms of the hands, whatever works for you on the floor here. Maintain your soft bend to the knees, we'll just have a little rock forward and back. And then as we come back into the centre four corners, we're just going to hips from side to side. Lovely, and then we're just going to do little circles around our feet. And then the other way. And 
And soft bend to the knees, rolling it all the way up. Bring the hands to heart centre, separate the feet slightly. Three little hip rolls, both directions, three on each side. So, pressing into your left leg, lifting your right knee and sweeping it around in your circles. Good. And then taking it the other way. One. Finding a balance, two and three. Placing the foot down, same onto the left leg, lift the knee, sweeping round, one, two, three. Bring it the other way, three, two, and one. Feet right and down onto the floor. Inhale, put the arms up, exhale through your chair pose, finding your full quarter fold as you exhale. Inhale, we come into our half to take away mind again, either hands on the shins or hands on the floor. You can stop with the fingers forward if you want. Again, just checking that we're sitting over the four corners of the feet. Lovely drawn in belly, long, tall spines around the head. Lovely. And then we exhale, we're going to plant the hands. We're either going to step, jump, or just simply take and walk the feet back into our plank pose. Knees press down, exhaling, chest wall presses down, legs and feet slide away. Inhaling, cobra pose. Good. Exhaling to come down, we're going to press up through our tabletop. Hello, our toes coming into down facing dog. Exhale. Lovely. Let's take a wee moment here. And then we'll step down for a walk back to the front of the mat. Legs and feet together, full forward fold. Inhale, just gently roll up your spine. Exhale, fold it out again, full forward fold. Inhaling into our half. Taking a wee moment to get extra length into our legs where we don't have to fold down them so we can really lift and engage them here. And as we exhale again, step jump to walk back to plank pose, knees on the mat, exhaling back again for our cobra. As we inhale, exhaling to bring ourselves down, pressing up through our table, curling out our toes, hand facing dog. Just give yourself a wee moment here again. Lovely, and then step, jump or walk in front of the mat. Legs and feet together, full forward fold. From here we're going to bend deeply into our knees and press our tummies and chest walls nicely down onto our thighs. Feel the weight going into all four corners of the feet. So the nice stretch now then into the ankles and into the calf muscles and down into our Achilles. We'll sweep our arms out in front of us into a low chair. Keep bending the knees. And then as we sweep it all the way up, we're going to come into that lovely swinging chair. So bend the knees, sweep the arms back. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhaling, inhaling. Exhaling, inhaling. Exhaling, inhaling. This time as you exhale to come down, bend the knees and sweep the arms behind the back, interlace the fingers, then locate the arms and come into your forward fold, reaching the arms overhead. Again, you can maintain a little bend in the knees if the hamstrings are very tight. Breathe into your shoulder spaces, into your hip flexors, into your butt cheeks. Lovely, and then from here we can bend our knees, sweep the arms forward, chair pose. Chair pose to prayer. Prayer twist to the left. So right elbow hooks left thigh, give yourself a little twist and turn. Now once you've got it on, check that the two knees are nicely laid up. And then really mobilize from the waist and above. Lovely. One more breath here. And then as we exhale, forward fold. 
Mostly. Inhaling, bending the knees, sweeping the arms up. Chair pose. Exhaling, hands to her other side. So, turning around, tucking the elbow onto that right thigh, pressing right hand onto the left hand to squeeze ourselves rounding on a little bit. Drawing the thumb notch as close to our sternum as we can without displacing the two knees. Lovely, and then we'll fold it out. Fold, fold, fold. Inhaling, turn. Exhaling, we're going to step down, we'll walk back into that plank pose, knees on the mat. Remember, you can do upward facing dog at any time if you prefer that to cobra. Exhaling, into our downward facing dog. Lovely, we'll inhale, we'll flash our lovely right leg up to the sky. Stay here for a few minutes as we reach down into our left heel. Good, and then we'll tuck right knee into our chest. We'll scoop the body weight forward, step right foot in, left heel, swivel stand, hips forward facing, float it up, warrior ball. Good, lovely. And as we exhale, float in that diaphragm, ball of that left foot, step it back down, facing dog first. Inhale, forward into our plank, exhale. Coming to the floor again, up the facing duck. Or cobra. I'll just be doing cobra for the duration of this. And then exhale, we get to down facing duck. So don't be. If you want to move it on, you're more than welcome. Use your upward facing duck. Inhaling, left leg. Float it up. Give yourself a wee moment here. Reaching down into your right heel. And then we'll tuck that left knee in, scoop the shoulders forward, step that left foot in, so the right heel there. Inhaling up, warrior one. Exhaling as we plant the hands, ball of our right back to down the facing dog. Inhale forward to plank, exhaling to right hand asana, or knees on the mat, cobra, or up the facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Lovely. From here, stepping the feet out as wide as the mat, walking them up maybe slightly closer to the hands. Engage fully into your right arm. We're using those finger pads, using the base of the fingers, round the thumb, draw back. The left hand's going to sweep out to our right leg. I'm going to bend our lovely left elbow and spin round in a little twist. Now, if you're pushing your hips out to the right side of the mat, just square off your pelvis and look at your pelvis in relationship to your two feet. It should be right in the middle. So the more we bend the elbow, the more we have a little twist. Lovely, and then we'll take that left hand back. Round it fully, lengthen the back first, right hand goes to the left leg, a nice strong bend into the elbow as we twist it out. Again, just checking alignment from pelvis down the length of the legs. The more we bend the elbow, the more we go around. Lovely, and then we'll come back into our centre plane from here. Dropping the knees out as wide as the mat, bring the big toes to touch. Just take your sit bones to rest back onto heel. Slide the arms away, shoulder to rest and widen the curve pose. Allow us forehead to gently rest onto the mat if you can. Creep the arms away. And then from here, lift the head, tilt the chin forward. Creep the arms away another little bit and just press a little bit more of your chest wall right down into that mat. Lovely. And one more breath, really smoothing down to the inside of those legs. Lovely. And then as we slide those hands in, we're going to tuck our right arm behind our left arm. Sweep it over as far as you want to. And press fully down onto the side of your right arm. So you can keep on lift up, smoothing it over another little bit. Okay? And we're just going to tip the fingers of the left hand on the floor, lift into the 
left shoulder and then to the left elbow side and slide the arm through and bundle over. So we're going to try and bring our right shoulder out towards our left leg. Good. Now nice little twist here. So it's more about how you're sliding the arm right across to that left leg. Well, we're going to bundle over. Press down into the side edge and find that full connection. So as soon as you move the arm wall away to the other side, it'll be harder to press down into that shoulder. And then we'll bring it back to centre and we'll do the same on the other side. So when we scoop it through, scoop it through as far as you can. Make sure the whole of the side arm rests onto the mat. Elevate it to your right elbow, right shoulder. And then give yourself another little lift, slide it away another little bit, press it back down. Okay, so you want to kind of pull back into your left shoulder blade at the same time, pressing down onto the side of your arm. Maybe another little bit. Do keep your left butt cheeks grounded to your heels. Lovely, and then we'll bring it back into our centre point. From here, just bring yourselves up, draw the two knees again together, okay, and then take it out. Classic haircuts. And then into the stacked tabletop, and then into our downward facing dog side. So we'll just fall off maybe. I'll never get behind these mics ever. <laughs> and then into our downward facing dog. So we're just going to get ourselves about three to five breaths if you need to walk out the feet or rise up to the toes and sink to the heels. Just do whatever makes you feel like you're kind of in, in, in the right place for you right here, right now. It doesn't matter whether we're not solid and stable. We just want to tease it out a little bit. And keep really reaching those sit bones to the sky. Lovely. So we're going to ground our right foot into the mat. Inhale, float our left leg up. Okay. Standing L first position so the toes are down to the floor. And then open hip position so we turn the toes to the side edge of the room and lift the hip. Lift the leg up a little bit higher. Okay. And then just bend the knee. Now from here, reaching the knee of that left leg up to the sky. As you lift up into the butt cheek of your right leg, so get that lovely open, 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 open hip. Yeah. And then we're going to bring that left knee forward for our pigeon pose, but we're going to use our blocks here. So once you've come forward to bring that left knee forward, just come down so as if you're settling into your pigeon pose. Okay? So you're going to take one block out in front of you, and you're going to take the other block. Okay? So it sits around the side edge of your thigh. So, place the block in a sort of diagonal shape to the left side of your mat. Work your left thigh so it's sitting onto that block. Straighten the shin so it's parallel, well not straighten, but parallel off the shin with the front edge of your mat. And then square off your pelvis. Okay? So it may take a wee while just to settle into this till you find the right position of the block that's coming in underneath that left thigh. Okay. So at this point, okay, there is a space between your right thigh okay, and the leg. Okay. And then we'll just take the block out in front of us. Okay. You can either place your hands on the block, you can rest your forearms on the block. But what I want you to continuously imagine or visualize is Squaring off the pelvis. So we're staying upright for a wee minute. Also now checking into the back leg to make sure it's directly out of the line behind you. So we're just resting here, having a few wee breaths. Keep relaxing into your left thigh bone and left glute and hip. Sometimes this kind of stretch with the block in underneath your thigh can really feel it going through the femur as well. 
So just tease yourself into it. If it's really too much for your foot and leg at the front to be parallel, you can slide it back a little bit. So now sometimes the muscles are like the tightness in the hips. Now what this should do is not give you any knee discomfort, hopefully. So we're still sitting here, we're still extending that low back. Brilliant. And then we're going to take hold of the block with our right hand, place the left hand onto your left thigh, and just walk the block from the right hand out to the left side of the mat. Take your left arm, sweep it around, okay? Tip the fingers on the floor. Now if it doesn't, the fingers don't tip on the floor, you can keep the hands on the thigh. But we're turning, twisting out to the left a little bit here. Okay. So that should just put a little bit more into your right hip, right, sorry, left hip, left thigh. So you're trying to twist out to the left here. Lovely. And then take that left hand onto your block. Bring yourself around, take the block over to the right side this time, and just place that right hand onto that leg, and then we're twisting it out slightly to the right there. Still let all that weight go into the left hip here. Keep up as high as you can. Good. One more breath here. And then as we bring ourselves back to our center point, okay, just lift that left thigh off the block, okay, slide the foot back to a comfortable space. Lovely, so we're nicely squared off here now, okay, and when we're nicely squared off here, right forearm's going to rest down onto the floor. We're going to bend our right knee, reach back with our left hand, so this is maybe where you need your belt. And gently drawing that heel down into your butt cheek. Lovely. So just set wherever it is, drawing here in. Softening into that right hip. Good. So you're going to a super duper quad stretch, but it really does. Increase the strength in that left hip. Lovely. And then as we release that leg back, okay, just bring yourself up, turn it around, keep your right leg extended onto your instep, okay? Keep it up in line with your right hip, okay? This leg's comfortable, smooth out, and we're just sitting up onto so rather than hanging down over that so if you can fully sit up place a block and push up and really push down and onto your right inside thigh so you get a nice indent into this right hip and again it might feel a little bit weird it might feel a little bit nervy Lovely, and then from here to swing that foot out, roll onto your butt cheek, this foot nicely here, okay? So from here, drawing your sit bones back, all we're going to do is a gentle forward fold down the middle of the mat, well, down the middle of the floor, okay? So once you're forward folding, try not to let your right leg and foot roll in, okay? Keep it nice and active, okay? If you need to place a block in underneath your left thigh, place a block in underneath your left thigh and gently walk it away. So, as with all forward folds, we're keeping the legs nice and active, particularly the one out to the right. We're smoothing it away. And roll over. If your right butt cheeks Creeping off the mat, don't let it. Lovely. And then as we slide everything back to our centre point, 
take that block out if you haven't done today on me. Okay, and from here, okay, we're just going to roll back, okay, as if we're coming into our pigeon pose, but we're not as if we are coming back into that pigeon pose. Again, you don't have to have that front leg fully extended. Find a way place where it works. It feels good. But square off the pelvis. Now from here, curl the toe under in your back leg. Lift your thigh and take the block and place it on your thigh. Now right in the middle so it's not on your knee joint. Relax the top of the foot. Square off your pelvis. Just come down onto your sphinx elbows here. So we're going to lift our heart centre. And then from here, we're going to use like active flexibility. We're going to bend and straighten out our right leg and knee. And then from here, we're going to push up onto straight arms and do the same thing. So that you press the hips down to the mat, lift and lengthen, and the same thing. Foot in and back. take right arm to the inside of our right leg, tip our fingertips in behind our right calf, lift and lengthen into our left side, so imagine you want to turn around, look over your shoulder, slide that hand, sneak it down and underneath that leg, so we've got that space to hook that lovely hand on, we're loving the waist stretch, reaching the left arm up to the sky, extend, lengthen, turn your eye gaze to the front of your mat. Soften into the side edge of your left leg, and then we'll just sweep over towards our toe, reach it up and press it back, and then over towards our toe, and reach up and press it back. One more time, over towards our toe, maybe we touch it, all the way up and back, lovely, and then from here, just get rid of the blocks out then underneath your feet. Okay, once you've got rid of them and underneath the feet, put them sort of towards the right side edge of the mat. Bring your butt off the edge of the mat. Bring your toes onto the floor. Okay, and from here we'll just do some lovely little knee swings. So we're going to bring our knees down to the right, 
If you need to keep your hands on the floor, keep your hands on the floor. And then over to the left. Good. And then over to the right. And over to the left. And over to the right, and you'll find yourself moving forwards. Good. Last time, over to the right. Once we're out to the right, again, just settle yourself down, come back into your downward facing dog. And really engage the legs here, lift the sit bones up, and reach down into those lovely heels. Good, so we're going to flat our right leg up, keeping our left foot nicely engaged into the floor. So standing leg first, okay, then over the hip, float the leg up a little bit higher, bend the knee, push the knee up to the sky. And then when we bring ourselves forward from our pigeon pose, remember just get your knee forward out wide and settle down into your back knee. Okay, then you can take your block. Find out where you want to place it. So, side of the thigh in a sort of diagonal shape. Rest on it. Extend the leg forward, okay? And then square off your pelvis. So there might be a little jiggling in that block around to find a comfortable place. Extend that leg forward. Square off the hips. Take your other block out in front of you and just use that then as your balance. Okay? So, when you've got your right thigh on the block, okay, you might feel that you're tempted to still roll out onto that hip. Okay? So you've got to really work that left leg back and press the hip crease down into the mat. So we're just staying here for a few breaths. Letting our body just gently adjust into what we're asking it to do, rather than pushing it, forcing it, taking our time with it. So we want to have that nice tall spine, and have the block on its taller side. Just give me that support and then just continually making that micro adjustment. If you find yourself then slipping off back onto that right thigh, Back to the center. Just breathe it out. Lovely. And then we'll take the block into our right hand and we'll go out to the right. So thinking about a little spinal twist. So either taking the fingers on the floor or the hand onto the big right block now. Or if you prefer it, you can have the block underneath your left hand. So whatever works best for you to turn and twist over that right leg and back. Okay. So just think how your spinal rotations work with your breath in. The expansion through the abdominals and back of space and exhale to go belly button into the spine to gently turn. That quick extra pressure, extra stretch into your right hip. And then we'll bring it back to the center point and then taking it out to the left side. So even as you're twisting it around, Draw that left hip forward and down. There we go. Maybe fingertips. Maybe you've got the block on the other hand. Whatever feels like that you can stay upright with this. I still want to see this hip moving forwards. Lovely. And then as we release it out, okay. We're just going to slide that block out from underneath that thigh. Let your right foot fall back to a comfortable space. Okay. Square off the hips. We're coming into our sphinx arms. So we're going to take our left forearm onto the mat. Square off the pelvis. Walk that left leg back a little bit more. Bend the left knee. Reach back with the right hand. Find that foot. And then just gently draw that heel down. So put a lot of weight now into your left thigh, left hip. You want to push that down into the ground as well. 
if you want. You can rest your head on a block. <laughs> so do find where you can relax the other body parts, okay? In order to feel where you're working, identify and select and just focus on that area. So as we release that leg, okay, all we're doing is lifting it up, rolling it out, extending that leg. So remember we're keeping it straight first, okay, and we're trying to sit up the ways, getting that nicely dense into the hip crease. So maybe placing your hand on the block, you want to push your left inside thigh down into the mat and lift up nice and tall, maybe slide that left arm slightly down that left leg. Keep pushing inside thigh. Lovely. And then as we release it out, we're just rolling onto our bum. Okay. Again, squaring up the pelvis, maybe placing a block in underneath that leg there. Okay. And going for our forward fold. So draw the sit bones back. Relax into the book, two butt cheeks, extend the arms away. Watch this lovely little foot, the leg is not internally rotating. Draw back into your left butt cheek and arm a little bit more. Find that lovely wide rib cage expansion into that space. Lovely. So when we slide it back up, we're going to come back into that pigeon pose. So we just roll it back around. Let your right leg be at a comfortable space for you. Okay. Again, we can always extend it out as much as you need to, but this time we're going to take the block and curl the toe under in our left leg. Take the block and underneath that left quad. Lovely. Squaring it up, coming into our saint's arm. Good. So we're nice and squared up. Look to the pressure spot off our right hip now with that block underneath our left thigh. And we're just pointing, drawing the heel in and extending. And drawing it in and extending. Drawing it in. Really squeeze the glute heel muscle. Lovely. And then we're going to press up onto straight arms. Soften the pelvis down and same thing. In. And out, and in, and out, and then now hold it here, push the foot towards the head, press up the drop the hips. Lovely reaching as if you want to touch your head with your toes. And then as we release it back, okay, we're swinging it back around onto the butts, okay. Re squaring up our pelvis, okay, and then taking the block then under, underneath our left foot. So once it's there, draw back into the sit bone. You've got this lovely space here. Again, you can relax the knee onto a block. Okay, we're going to take the bounce around the block here. Okay, really kind of draw that butt cheek back, lift up out of the waist. And as you exhale, just gently fold it down so it's So we keep splaying the elbows out wide, lengthening forward, particularly now on our right side. So feel like you're trying to draw yourself across that leg a little bit. Maybe we'll hold them onto the edges of the block and the same thing, bending the elbows that way. Super duper. So as we come back to centre from here, okay. Just take that foot off the block, 
okay? And we're going to come into that lovely little knee lift again. So once we're here, we're sitting off the edges of our mat. So we're going to roll across onto our right side, okay? Once we're here, we're going to actively lift the hips up, okay? And then step the left foot forward, roll onto the instep of your right foot, and then from here, push forward into that left knee. Take your left hand to the inside of your left leg, and just stretch up that right arm so the hips are going forward, Stretching, reaching up. Yeah. And as we bring it back down, okay, just step that foot back. Bring yourself into the middle again. I'm not going to ask you to roll from side to side. I'll ask you something that I couldn't do. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So we press the knees to the left. We lift up. Use your hands if you need to. Step the foot out to the corner edge. Okay, got three knees on the car. Rolling onto your instep, press your right knee forward. Lovely. Right hand goes to the ground, lift your left arm. So push your right knee forward, push your left hip forward and down into the floor. And then we'll bring ourselves back into our center plank. So when we come back into center plank here, Let's take the block out in front of you. Use it something to lean on. Then we we'll take the knees out as wide as they can go. We're going to roll onto our insteps. Good. Once we hit, lift the knees off the mat and smooth them out another little bit. Now from here, bring your hips so they're sitting directly in line with your um, knees and I want you to do a tail tuck and round in the chin to the chest. So keep tucking that tail and pushing those hips forward, rounding the chin in, rounding it in, rounding it in, rounding it in. One more breath here and then from here sweep the legs together slightly. Now I'm not wide knee tear so our toes are touching but slightly wider than that, so that when we come back, okay, we can take our butt cheeks, okay, let the knees come in a little wider, and sit in between our legs. Now, if that is not possible, take a block, place it under your bum. So do you feel, so now we're like a, a wide knee hero's pose. You know when we have the side of our calf and half our foot showing either side? We're just sitting, just sit down here so we can be on a block, and just breathe. Lovely, and then we'll kind of come back onto elbows. So I'm not sure if we're on a block, if that's possible, yeah. But let's see. I'm trying on a block. Yeah, and then we come back down onto our elbows without lifting our knees. And if you're off the block, that's fine as well. Maybe I can get myself off this block. Good. Then just coming down onto those elbows. And then from here, we're going to curl the tail under, push the hips up to the sky. Good. So, if you're on a block, you might just be able to get that bum lifted and push, 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 push. Another little push up. And then as we release it out, bring ourselves forward, press up onto the knees, swing the legs through, roll out the bums, take the bums off the edge of the mat again, swing the legs out wide. So when we're out wide here, okay, we're going to take our two blocks and we're going to slide them out in front of us. Okay. Once we slip them out in front of us here, okay, if you know when you reach forward and forward fold that it's actually hard for you to bring the hands down to the floor, take them up onto their taller sides. You want them directly in front of your hips. Now place your hands on those blocks. 
Okay, stretch the heels away. Now just start sliding the blocks away. Slide them away as far as you can go. Pressing the hands firmly on the block. Now what I want you to do is drop the chest walls down. Feel the press into the shoulders. Reach those heels away. Keep dropping down. So we have lots of space between our body and the floor. We've got a long, tall spine. So we're going to keep our left hand on the block. Lift your right arm up. And we're going to do the same. We're going to thread the needle through. It's trying to sneak it under and then press down into your right shoulder. So just breathe. So even if you're not getting that shoulder down, okay, just think of intention. Push down into the side shoulder. So we've got the right hand on the block, we're threading the needle with the left arm, like sneak it under that leg if you can, if you can't sneak it under, place it on top, drop down into your left shoulder. Yes, one more breath. So it doesn't matter if you're not fully down. If you really feel like you need to lean the side of your arm against a block, lean to your side of the arm against the block as well. And then we'll bring it all the way back to center. From here, bring your blocks out and place them in a sort of semicircle area, but just towards your left leg, okay? Now, you can place them on your flat side if you want, okay? But try them on this side here, okay? You can use your hands if you need to, balance, all right? But try not to. So we'll pull the flesh back on our sit bones, okay? And then from here, we're just gonna lift the leg up and over and up and back. So starting with our left leg, up and over and up and back. Up and over and up. And again, one more time, up and back. Now, if that works for you, let's take it up a notch, okay? So we're taking it up a notch, we're drawing our sit bones back, and away we go. Up and up and up. We're increasing not only our mobility, but our hip flexor strength and engagement. Lovely. Great, and then just for the last, we want to place one on its low side, one on its high side. Squish out those butt cheeks, and up and over, and up and over. Good. One more time, up and over, and grab it. Take it out to your other side. So draw back into our sit bones. Okay. Try not to fall back. It's quite easy to fall back, and it's okay if you do because you're trying to counterbalance. Okay, but we're really trying to get that quick fire action from our hip crease. Now you'll definitely find that one side responds better than the other. So we're going ready. Up and over and up and over. Good. And over and over. And then we can put it on the flat side and just keep it on the flat side if you need to. Good, and then all the way back, up onto our tall side. Make sure they're kind of, you're not gonna knock them over. <laughs> and away we go. And, oh, I nearly knocked mine over. Good, engage, lift. Lovely, last time. And then just once on its tall side, up and over a few times. And those a bit too far away. Cheating. Good. 
lovely. And then last time, once you're here, don't be tempted to want to close the legs, draw the sit bones back, and we'll go for a lovely little pancake down the middle of the floor. So stretching the heels away, drawing the sit back, bones back, feeling the pubic bone rolling down into the floor as we slide it away. Keep stretching the heels away. Feel like your front chest or abdomen is being lifted forward. Smooth it down. Breathe hip creases back of the legs, inside the knees. Maybe the sweep of the hands out now and catching hold of your insteps. Lifting your chin so you can press that chest in down another little bit. Lovely, and then we'll bring ourselves back. We'll hook our fingertips in behind our knee joints. Rock back a little bit, bring the soles of the feet together. Great, so we'll pop back onto our mat here. Hold on to our lovely big toes. Come in baby butterfly to big butterfly. So sit up nice and tall first. Hook on strongly to the toes, press the elbows out wide. So always engaging and lifting into the chest. We'll rock it back a little bit. We'll find our balance. And then with a big breath, we'll open out the legs, press the elbows back by bending them to draw the legs and the feet back. Lovely. Now really hooking onto those toes, squeeze in that pelvic floor, gently start drawing them together. You might be holding onto the back of your legs, lift up a little bit more. Feel like you're rolling slightly forward onto your sit bones rather than rolling back onto your tailbones. And then out we go again. Now activate those legs. Really activate them. Let go and just press. Spread out those toes. Don't let them drop. Don't let them drop. Good. And then just gently crossing the legs over. Rolling it out onto your tummy. Not onto your tummy, onto all fours. Lovely, and then just give yourself a little cat cow. Oh, really tuck in that tail. So the tuck of the tail is the nicest kind of counter stretch to that. So really roll and tuck it. And dip it. Roll and tuck it. Lovely, and dip it. And then we'll just smooth the legs out behind us, gently roll over a box. Bring our bones into the middle of the mat, slide down. And gently just draw the knees into the chest wall here, just bit by bit by bit. And then we'll cross right leg fully over the left, just pop the left foot down, walk the left foot away a little bit. And just let the knees roll out to the right. Moving back onto the left shoulder blade, sweep the arms out. Okay. So fully relaxing into this left hip. Then turn your head down in the opposite direction. Tender on those hips when you take it into a spinal twist after doing all that wide leg stuff. So just do it gently. And then we'll gently turn the head to the right. Lovely, one more 
Super rolling it back to centre to tuck the knees in. Last little chest. <coughs> Snuggle in. A little roll out from side to side. Okay. I'll just extend the legs away for a few minutes. Just don't need to get too cold here. So just stretching the legs out, softening the butt cheeks, placing the hands onto the tummy. And just close the eyes. And just fully relax the body. So just feel all the sensations that have gone on in the hips and the pelvis. You know, just gently relaxing, releasing all the hard work that's gone. Just give yourself a five lovely breaths in and out through the nose. Just to end your practice. And then bring the fingers, wiggle the toes, take a lovely big stretch. Good, kind of curving off the spine of the mat. And then we'll gently walk the feet in, sweep the lower back into the mat, gently tuck the knees up. Nice, sleepy hug again. And then whenever you're ready, just a Super roll up to sit. Well done, everybody. Namaste. Have a lovely day, and I will see you tomorrow in the morning.